Hey everybody, this is John with a Dusty Goat, and today we're building a chicken hoop coop. Michael's learning how to back a trailer. He's doing a good job. Yeah, that's good. All right, so the first step in making this hoop coop, this style hoop coop is, you wanna make the frame, the base. So what we're doing, this coop is eight feet long by six feet wide. And the reason why I'm making it that dimension is so that it fits in that trailer. So when you get your lumber, your lumber is not always the right size. Okay, so this is supposed to be an eight foot two by four, but you can see it's eight foot and a half. So that's why I'm telling you to measure your lumber. So normally I don't use any brackets at all when I do this. But they had these on sale. These are corner brackets. And it makes it a little bit easier. So it'll give it some additional support and it'll be a little bit easier to drill and um, get this square. And Maddie wants to pull up one of our carrots to see how big they are. Dad, pull one up. Wow, come show the camera. I pulled one of the tinier ones. She pulled one of the tinier ones. It's a real carrot. Like, what do you think about that? I pulled one a couple weeks ago. Yeah. And it Maddie. Was tiny. But we're still gonna send some three inch nails this way. What is it? <laughs> rabbit poop. Rabbit poop? It is wild rabbit poop in the yard. We have wild rabbits everywhere over here. Talk about what you're doing, John. Okay, so, so these two by fours don't split on these long screws because it's so close to the end. I always pre-drill my hole. That way the wood doesn't split. So this is the frame for the chicken hoop coop. Next, we'll be putting on the uh, cattle panels. So this is my room tour. As you can see, we're building the frame and then the panel thing is right over there, right? So right here is my nightstand. This Speak up, I can't hear you. And then over here is where my bed, my hanging what, hammock, I guess. You want me to put you a roost in there so you can sit? I guess. Okay. Yeah. What are you eating? Ooh, give me one. Give me a couple. I mine, Dad. One more. One more. Three. Hey! Give me one. Oh. It's only one way to video this. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I hope we got that on camera. Come on, Michael. Mm. Fair. Ready? Thank you. Come out and bring back. Ooh. And that's it. All right. <laughs> Done. Just leave it. Get the other one. <laughs> Okay, someone's gonna have to bring it up in the middle, Mom. Can you come up? Come up. You can tell I live All right, come right? this way. You're gonna have to overlap this one, Michael. It overlaps like this. All right, 
Put your sign in first, put it behind this one. There you go, now screw it all the way down. Okay, so basically all you do is lay the cattle panels in. Then we're going to take some metal plumber's pipe hanging tape and we're going to screw in the bases. Now, if it's not on a level surface, you can tell it's going to lean. The weight of the cattle panels is going to lean to whichever way the ground's going. But we're going to put in our supports next. Okay, this is metal plumber's pipe hanger tape. Try not to cut it sharp like I did. I'm going to recut that. That way it has a less tendency to cut somebody. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> that was so mean. Basically, you want to get this situated right up in the corner. What I do is I come up about an inch. Or you can just do the middle of the board to make it easy. But you want this flush against this board. Come on up, Michael. Come on up. Come on up a little bit more. And that's it. And that'll hold that cattle panel in place. And you're going to do that all the way down. <laughs> Can y'all see this chicken? <laughs> She's crazy. <laughs> she loves getting on my back when I come in here. I don't even know if I've got the camera right. <laughs> Alright, in the middle part, you're going to have an overlap. Okay? It's not going to be perfect. It's not going to be perfectly level either. So, basically, one's going to be below the other one. So, on the one on the inside, I do that one first. Macy, go shut the back door for the chicks, please. Alright, you're going to have to push it this way. Come down a little bit. Come down. And that's the middle portion. So now the cattle panels are mounted in here with the uh, metal plumber's pipe hanging tape. And now we're gonna do the upright supports. But what you wanna make sure of is you're gonna run two supports, front and back, front and back. How wide you have these supports in the front is gonna be how wide your door is. So keep that into consideration. There's no specific you can put it close to the end, you can put it close in here. But the closer you put them together, the smaller your door is gonna be. Okay, so I bought these brackets. I haven't used these brackets either, but it's gonna make things a little bit easier. Now these are a little bit more expensive, around $6 or so a piece. So for four of them, for the four supports, um, you're gonna spend about 25 extra dollars for these. But basically what they're gonna do is this part is going to get screwed to the two by four and then your upright post is going to go in the middle and it's going to screw on each side to support the post okay so this is the middle of six foot this is 36 inches right here okay what i do on my doors my front post is i measure 16 inches from here 16 inches from here okay and that'll give me where I'm gonna put my board on this side of the line. Here's the line, and I'm gonna put my upright on this side of the line. That gives me 32 inches for a door. 
So these brackets that I got are going to go right here on 16 inches from the middle and over here 16 inches from the middle. And those are the brackets. This is my curious chicken. <laughs> okay, so now that we've got the brackets in, we've got the board in the bracket where it's gonna go. Now we have to figure out how long it needs to be. That's gonna vary. All these cow panels, some of them are bent from delivery, some of them are bent trying to get it home. And if you're not on absolutely level ground, this may be swayed one way or the next. Basically, what you can do is just guesstimate. None of this on this build has to be absolutely perfect, except for the frame. You need the frame square and even all the way around, okay? But this part, basically you wanna get a level, put your level on the side of the board, make sure the board itself is level, and then that's gonna tell you where you need to cut your board. Now you could just cut it straight and have it stick up. That's perfectly fine. Then we use the metal plumber's pipe hanger tape. And that's how I affix these to this. So it'll hold this in place. And the ones on the bottom, you can do it a little bit loose just to hold it. But these need to be quite tight wherever you hold it because the board has a tendency to, to move this way and that if it's not really tight. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna figure out my length. The length is not something that I can give you an exact on. It's just gonna be different depending on your cattle panel, what kind of ground you're on, if it's level or not, how much bend's in it. There's a lot of factors that go into that, but basically I put my board down beneath, it's in the bracket, and now I'm gonna figure out my line. Now some of mine, I've cut them curved to go along with it. Some of them I've let hang out this one I'm probably just gonna let I'm just gonna cut it off at a certain length that way I can adjust this where I need to or want it the fam is enjoying some time by the fire out here Maddie, what are you doing making marshmallows have you had dinner yet Okay, so at the bottom, we're 32 inches apart, right here. So at the top, you want to be 32 inches. But the problem is, is that this is not level. Okay, so you're going to have to manipulate this around and then get it on the same height on each board because my ground is not level. So it's a lot more advantageous to do this on a level surface. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I get 32 inches apart on these and that the boards are level. Also the height that I'm going to put this on this when I put the plumber's tape on it.
you doing? What are you doing? Hey, Doocy Row. All right, so here is your two supports. We're going to put two of these in the back. It's going to be done the same way as the two front ones. Now, granted, this is not absolutely perfect. So you may have a difference in your, your distance here and at the bottom. That's the reason why I made 32 inches. It, we're not building a, a custom home here. And I'm a, not a professional carpenter or even maybe a good carpenter but this will work for chicken coop so i'm slightly shorter distance up here lamb i'm 32 exactly on the bottom i'm about i'd say a quarter of an inch maybe three eighths inch off difference here but that's still enough to frame a square door and you can adjust your hinges where you need to but just remember to measure before you build your door measure up here and down there because this is not on a rigid wooden frame. You're depending on this cattle panel and it's not going to be perfect. So, it's tall enough. I'm six foot tall and this is plenty tall enough. The door is going to be plenty wide enough for us to come in and out. And then the two supports on the back, we're going to take that six foot board by thirds. So, I'm going to come a distance from that side over and that side over which will be a little bit differing distance than these front two. The reason why I made the front two, is like a wide door. Okay, so now the top board on the front is installed. Toe, net, toe screwing it in from here and here, and here and here. And it's level even from, it's four inches down from the top. The back braces are now on the coop. <laughs> They were done just like the front braces. We didn't video that. That's the same as the front of the coop. We, instead of putting a header over there, we just, I always put a, just a middle brace back here. So we're going to do the door. Okay, using my scrap lumber cut off from the other pieces, I'm making the middle parts of the door. But make sure you understand and consider that I make my doors with a long piece and a long piece, and then I put braces in the middle. So if I need a door that's 31 and a half inches long, you need to take into consideration the width of your two by fours. Okay, so basically the door I need, I need 24 inch middles to make my total size door. Also, when I'm measuring something like a door that needs to be exact, I go ahead and measure out each line, but then I butt them up end to end, and I draw a line all the way down, because you see there was a little difference there. And that can make a big difference in making something that you need perfectly square like a door. So as long as my cuts are right, when I go to cut these off, it'll be nice and square and plumb. Okay, so I've set up my door, I've made the cuts, and now I'm putting it together. I've used my square, making sure that that corner is square. I picked up these braces just to make it a little easier. Normally I toenail it with screws I screw it in from either side but today I'm going to use these braces but this is my helper today what are you doing buddy where's your toy go get your toy go get it where's it at Thank you. 
So basically, I'm just repurposing some old door hinges that I found at a yard sale. I like using these um, regular home door hinges. They're just sturdier, and I can find them cheap at yard sales. So I'm putting on the hinge for the top. I like to hang them high, and then at the, uh, the very highest point I can and the lowest point I can to give it some more rigidity. Okay, so this is an almost finished hoop coop for chickens. Things left to do. Needs a latch, a door handle. I've already installed a door stop on it. It's just a scrap piece of wood so that when you close the door, the door stops. There's one up top. I'm gonna go ahead and put one down bottom. Also, it needs chicken wire. I'm gonna finish it out in chicken wire using the frame here to staple it to. <laughs> then I like to zip tie the rest of it to the cattle panel. You can use hardware cloth. You can frame these out in wood. There's lots of different things that you can do with this. Also, the next boxes. We normally mount the nest boxes on the back. I'll just put another board top and bottom and then I'll use that to screw nest boxes too that we make. Uh, needs a tarp on it. We use the wood base to screw or staple the tarp to it. Then you can use zip ties here if you get a tarp with grommets. You can use PVC or metal roofing. You just have to run wooden furrows down so you can screw it to the wooden furrows. Um, we take 48 inch chicken wire and we run it all the way around the sides of the coop. That way the animals can't get in and out. I'm not gonna say it's predator proof, but we have lots of raccoons, foxes, some coyotes, and a bunch of hawks where we live right here. And we have never had a predatory animal get into our chicken hoop coop so far. This is treated wood. Uh, our oldest one has lasted close to almost over three years and it's doing fine still and that's basically it now this is by no means perfect but there are a lot of different things you can do from here it's just your personal choice but they work really well we love them you can even make them mobile by putting wheels on them and that's basically it we hope you enjoyed this video from the Dusty Goat. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And we appreciate you watching.